Today, let's talk about one of the biggest names in social media, Addison Rae. She's a TikTok star with over 84 million followers, but with fame comes controversies, and Addison Rae has had her fair share of those. So let's dive into Addison Rae's most controversial moments. First on our list is the one that started it all, Addison Rae's video with Charlie D'Amelio. It was posted back in July 2020, and it showed Addison and her mom dancing to Obsessed by Mariah Carey. It was a harmless video, but the controversy started when Charlie D'Amelio, the most followed TikToker at that time, commented, I love you, on the video. Fans instantly started accusing Addison of being jealous of Charlie D'Amelio's fame and trying to steal her spotlight. In fact, the backlash was so intense that Addison Rae had to disable the comments on the video. However, the two later cleared the air, and it turned out that there was no bad blood between them. But just as this controversy began to die down, a new one emerged. Her second controversy came shortly after, with fans digging up Addison's old problematic tweets. Following her fame, her old tweets from 2016 and 2017 had resurfaced, and most of them were deemed pretty racist and offensive. The tweets included her using the N-word, making fun of Asian people and promoting body shaming. Fans were angry and demanded an apology from Addison. She did end up apologizing and said that she was young and immature at the time, and that those tweets don't reflect who she is now. But some fans weren't satisfied and felt that her apology was insincere. And of course, we can't forget Addison Rae's controversial interview with USC fighter Dustin Poirier. In July 2021, when Addison was invited to cover the UFC event for ESPN. Okay, and then one more question. Um, you shouted out someone from the audience. Can you tell us a little bit about why you did that? Yeah, we have a, a young kid from Lafayette, Louisiana. Who was uh, battling with cancer. I have a foundation, the Good Fight Foundation. And, uh, we flew him and his family out uh, when we got him tickets for the fight, so they're here, and it's just, I think it's the first time he's been on the plane, so I'm just, you know. <laughs> She asked Dustin Poirier if he could confirm or deny the rumors that his wife was a McNugget, which is a derogatory term used to describe women who are allegedly easy to manipulate. This comment caused outrage among viewers, who criticized Addison for perpetuating harmful and sexist stereotypes, and for using her platform as a reporter to promote offensive and inappropriate content. Many also felt that Addison was mocking Dustin Poirier's wife. She later apologized, saying that she didn't mean any harm and that it was a misunderstanding understanding. To further add to her list of controversies, we have Addison's latest music video, Obsessed. The video, released in March 2021, was criticized for being completely tone-deaf and culturally appropriative. In the video, Addison is seen wearing a durag, a hairstyle typically worn by black people to protect their hair. Many people felt that the durag was being used as a fashion accessory, rather than for its intended purpose. Plus, some viewers also talked about the music video featuring only white dancers and being culturally insensitive. Addison later responded to the criticism, saying that she wasn't aware of the cultural significance of the Durag and that she would do better in the future. The racism controversy just continued with Addison. This one was followed directly by her Black Lives Matter controversy. Yikes! In June 2020, Addison Ray posted a black square on her Instagram with the hashtag Blackout Tuesday, which was a social media campaign to show solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. However, fans criticized her for not doing enough to raise awareness about the movement and not using her platform to speak out against racial injustice. They felt that she was just jumping on the bandwagon without fully understanding the issue. Addison later posted a lengthy apology where she admitted that she wasn't educated enough about the Black Lives Matter movement and promised to do better. Turns out this seems like a pattern with Addison Rae. Her career has always been surrounded by accusations of black fishing. Specifically, she's been called out for using tanning products and hairstyles that some say are meant to mimic black features. People have also pointed out that in some of her social media posts, Addison appears significantly darker than she is in real life, leading to accusations that she's trying to appropriate black culture and use it for her own benefit. And others have also criticized her for using her platform to promote a distorted and inauthentic view of black culture. While Addison has not directly responded to the black fishing accusations, some of her supporters have said that she is not guilty of the behavior and that her use of tanning products and black hairstyles is simply a personal style choice. However, the controversy has led to wider discussions about the importance of accurate representation in media. But it's not just racism that's getting her canceled. Addison has also faced getting canceled for her friendship with allegedly problematic YouTuber David Dobrik. David Dobrik has been accused of multiple instances of racist jokes and inappropriate behavior. <laughs> 
Are you kidding me? Is this like a f***ing racist water bottle? What do you mean racist water bottle? Like, is the water bottle personally prejudiced to me? You can't have a racist water it's bottle. Not a water bottle. <laughs> but every time you guys flip it, it lands perfectly fine. Every time I flip it and I land it, it falls over. Take the bottle. Do it one more time. And many fans weren't happy that Addison Ray continued to associate herself with him. However, Addison Ray defended her friendship with David Dobrik, stating that she believes in forgiveness and that everyone deserves a second chance. While some argue that she should have distanced herself from Dobrik and taking a stronger stance against his alleged behavior, others support her decision to give him the benefit of the doubt and continue to support him as a friend. Passion in people. So, like, when I noticed that he was passionate about, like, his vlogs and, like, watching him edit, then I was like, okay, like, he's something, that's something I would okay, like he's in someone. Yeah, no, 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 it's I like, saw it's the like same something thing. I would like in someone. So, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that's dry. one thing that I'm like, like, yeah, like, that's attractive to me. So, like, yeah, I thought that was attractive. What do you think of her stance on choosing to stay neutral? But her biggest controversy sparked in March 2021 when she was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Her appearance on the show quickly went viral all over for all the wrong reasons. She was criticized right from the beginning, with people saying she was being given a platform on a mainstream talk show despite her lack of qualifications or expertise in any field. People said her only claim to fame was her popularity on TikTok, and that her appearance on the show was an example of how social media influencers were being overvalued and overexposed in the media. She performed a series of TikTok dances alongside Kimmel, and many people accused her of appropriating black culture by not crediting the creators of the dances, which were originally created by black TikTok users. People also pointed out that her performance was part of a wider trend of white TikTok users profiting off the creativity and labor of black creators, and called for more support and recognition for black voices in the entertainment industry. Viewers also pointed out that Addison had been invited to the show during a pandemic when many other more deserving guests, such as essential workers or healthcare professionals, who were yet to be given the same opportunities. They said her appearance on the show was a reflection of the privileges and opportunities that social media influencers enjoy, even during difficult times. And to finally end this list of controversies, we need to talk about what is up with Addison Rae and the Kardashians. There have been some discussions and debates about whether Addison Rae used the Kardashians to boost her fame and social media following. She's been seen hanging out with the Kardashian family, particularly Kourtney Kardashian, on multiple occasions. Some people have speculated that Addison's association with the Kardashians has helped her gain more exposure and followers. Others say the TikToker's talent and content creation skills are what led to her success. We'll never know for sure whether or not her association with the Kardashians played a role in her success, but it's undeniable that she's become a significant figure in the world of social media and entertainment. Despite all these controversies, Addison Rae continues to have a massive following. While she's had her fair share of scandals, it's important to remember that she is still young and learning. When you say that you're obsessed with me, me too.